All right, this is the new house. This is what it currently looks like. They have really nice purple trim. They did a really good job with their cable wires. Watching the video back that this video makes everything look fun and exciting and as if things are moving along seamlessly with no problems and I just want to point out that that's not the way it typically goes things happen things come up things go wrong so in this case we started this project right around the winter holidays so we had um, Scheduling issues, things that came up, trying to keep to a timeline was a little more difficult. People take time off during the holidays. We had a contractor who showed up and then something went wrong and we decided we could no longer use him. So we had to fill in and find new contractors to use. But because we had already scheduled our painter and wanted to keep on schedule, Andy and I went in and we did some of the work ourselves. And we also had to find someone else to do some demolition work right before the painters came in, which was literally like the week before Christmas. So that was a little difficult. I did some waiting around, but it's okay because it all got taken care of. Um, once the painting started, things started to run more smoothly. We had several things done both inside and outside. This doesn't show everything because we did have some minor plumbing issues we had to have taken care of. We had electrical things that were taken care of to keep everything up to code, such as smoke detectors, carbon monoxide, all of those kinds of things, because it is going to be a rental. 
we had a lot of things outside that were taken care of, such as roofing, uh, gutters, railings, framing, um, some doors that had lead in them, and then also lentils that had lead in them needed to be covered. So we had some things outside that needed to be taken care of, and the door actually had to be done twice because the lead was still popping up in um, when they shot for it. So when we thought everything was done, so everything was completely done. I had went in, I had cleaned. We were, we thought we were done for good, and the pipe broke in the back corner of the utility room because we had a ton of rain and the sump pump I guess stopped working and the whole bottom floor uh, had water in it and you'll notice in the basement we do have carpet so that carpet got wet and so did the padding underneath and we had put carpet down there because financially it was the best decision because it is a rental it costs a little more to put in um, a harder floor which probably would have taken the water damage better, but that's here nor there. So what we did was Andy and I went in with some big fans and we dried the area up and then it took about a full week of driving back and forth to the house and moving the fans, getting everything where it needed to be because we had to position it to dry all corners and then re-pushing some of that carpet back in because we did have to lift it up to dry it out and to make sure that there was no mold that form so after that it was pretty much done everything was good and the house was ready to rent so I hope you enjoy the rest of this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below also um, I think next time I might try and include some of the contractors because really they do the work it's not us we just do the scheduling and things like that except for me of course singing and putting in a few little things here and there and doing some cleaning um, so next time I think I want to include some contractors as long as they're okay with it so stay tuned watch final before and afters I hope you love it as much as I did thanks so much bye